Next is a look at highlights of operation in support of theater command. Within the period under review, the air component carried out operations in support of theater command's conduct of operation Deep Punch. Close air support was provided for troops of 21, 25, 26, and 28 brigades, armed forces, special forces, and army HQ strike group to conduct clearance operations around Sambisa and Mutsube. The air components also flew intensifier SR mission as well as air interdiction and close air support to assist troops of 27 and 28 brigades to conduct clearance operations at Talala, Ajikin, and Buk. Additionally, air support to troops of 103 Battalion of 7 Division Garrison was instrumental to their conduct of successful clearance operation in Yale, that is southeast of Brno, on the 7th of June 2017. In addition to the independent operations conducted by the air component to shape the environment for ground troops, other missions were in direct support of the ground troops offensive. For example, on the 27th of April, own ISR provided cover for troops of 27th Tax Force Battalion that were in contact with Boko Haram terrorists. The ISR platform was able to guide the ground troops in the direction of the insurgent, which enabled them to repel the attack. Several tactical airlift missions were also conducted for ground troops. For instance, seven wounded in action were evacuated from Polka to Maiduguri on the 15th of April, 2017, while three wounded in action were evacuated from Bita to Maiduguri on 18th of April of the same year, and 14 wounded in action evacuated from Yale Garu to Maiduguri on the 5th of June. Other operations include the airlift of MRAP vehicle tires to Bama on 13th of April, and over 1,600 kilograms of logistics from Meduguri to Yalegaru on 5th of June. Several troops rotation missions were conducted with 264 personnel airlifted to and from various locations in the theater in the month of May 2017. Next is an highlight on operations in support of multinational joint tax force. The Multinational Joint Tax Force, NMJTF for short, which comprises forces from Cameroon, Chad, Niger, Benin Republic, and Nigeria, is currently conducting Operation Rawan Keda. The operation involves clearance operation in northern Brno with emphasis on Tumbun Jaki, Tumbun Rego, and Tumbun Muhu, as well as fringes of the Lake Chad. The advance commenced on 24th of March 2017 and is still ongoing. The air component is providing ISR, Hamdreki, close air support and air interdiction for the advancing troops. For example, on the 26th of June 2017, the air component conducted casualty evacuation mission for, for Chadian troops from Malan Fatori to Difa. Furthermore, on the 30th, Following the observation of significant Boko Haram terrorist activities in Tumbunrego and Almakaluri, the air component conducted coordinated air interdiction on a Boko Haram terrorist location east of Malkunori in concert with Nigerian Air Force using one F-7 and two Alpha jets. The battle damage assessment footage shown on the screen indicated the strikes were successful in neutralizing Boko Haram terrorists in the location. Let us take a look at the battle damage assessment. This is the vicinity. And F7 has just dropped its bomb on one of the terrorist uh, camp, and you could see fire engulfing the area. You could also see some survivors trying to flee to safety, and uh, very soon you're going to see the Alpha jet take on some of the survivors.
that is the Alpha Jet striving. Next is a look at highlights of independent operation conducted in Sambisa area. During the period under review, the air component conducted several independent operations aimed at decimating Boko Haram terrorist infrastructure and shaping the battle space. For instance, at dawn of 28th of April 2017, the air component conducted an air interdiction mission on Boko Haram terrorists in a village four kilometers northeast of Mangusu following Hayasa Trail of the previous day. The air interdiction mission was conducted using one F-7NI aircraft and two Alpha Jet aircraft. From the battle damage assessment conducted after the strike, several Boko Haram terrorist structures and equipment were destroyed while a few survivors were seen scrambling from the location. The footage is shown on the screen. This is the vicinity of interest, and you can see some of the terrorists moving about in the camp, as observed by the ISR. That was the first strike by F-7. And um, a BH a technical was uh, trying to move. It was further struck by another F-7. The Alpha Jet striking to wrap it up. Now the Alpha Jet strived with uh, cannons to take on some of the fleeing terrorists. And at the end of the day, you could see some of them trying to evacuate some of the casualties. The recent significant air interdiction mission was also conducted on the 3rd of July on the Boko Haram terrorist settlement 